students this video deals with a very important topic of chemistry known as mole ratios as conversion factors in stoichiometric calculations now let's start the video let's see what mole ratios are very simple the ratios of number of moles of reactants taking part in a chemical reaction and the number of moles of products formed is mole ratio so the ratio between number of moles of reactants and the number of moles of products example you can say combustion of propane let's see the chemical equation you can see one mole of propane it is reacting with five moles of oxygen and producing three moles of carbon dioxide with four moles of water now let's see what conversion factor is a ratio of coefficients found in a balanced chemical equation which can be used to interconvert the amount of any two participants whether reactants or products it is called conversion factor and it is being used in all the numericals and all the problems in the stoichiometric calculations now let's see problem number 1 methanol burns like the equation is 2 moles of methanol react with 3 moles of oxygen and produce 1 mole of carbon dioxide with 4 moles of water now the question is if 3.5 moles of methanol are burned in oxygen calculate a how many moles of oxygen are used b how many moles of water are produced now the given quantity of moles of methanol is 3.5 the desired quantity you have to find the moles of oxygen the conversion factor which is the mole ratio is 3 moles of oxygen by 2 moles of methanol so you can say the desired quantity of oxygen you can find it by simply multiplying the given quantity by the conversion factor that is 3.5 Five moles of methanol, which is the given quantity, into three by two. That is three moles of oxygen by two moles of methanol. When you multiply it, you get five point two five moles of oxygen are used. So this is how the desired quantity of oxygen is found. Now, the number of moles which are to be found are written in the numerator. Just keep this in mind. The number of moles of oxygen were to be found. So you just have to divide it with the moles of the methanol which are given in the balanced chemical equation and then you just have to multiply it by the number of moles given it is also simple unitary method two moles of methanol are being used with three moles of oxygen so for 3.5 moles how many moles of oxygen are being used so this is simple unitary method you just have to divide 3 by 2 and then multiply it with the given amount of methanol so you, so you get the number of the moles of oxygen which is 5.25 now let's see this the b part of the question which is the given quantity of methanol is 3.5 you have to find the desired quantity of water how much water is produced the conversion factor is the quantity of the substance to be found is in the numerator and 2 moles of methanol it is written in the denominator so 4 moles of water over 2 moles of methanol you just have to multiply it with the given quantity of the methanol 3.5 into 4 by 2 gives 7 moles of water so in this balanced chemical equation for 3.5 moles of methanol 7 moles of water are produced i hope this is clear up till now now let's see problem number 2 Ammonia is obtained by the following equation: one mole of nitrogen is reacting with three moles of hydrogen and producing two moles of ammonia. The question is, how many moles of a nitrogen are required to manufacture five moles of ammonia, and b, how many moles of hydrogens are required to manufacture five moles of ammonia? Now let's see the solution for the a part. The given quantity of nit ammonia is five moles. we have to find the desired quantity of nitrogen the conversion factor that is the mole ratio is 1 mole of nitrogen over 2 moles of ammonia the quantity to be known is written in the numerator now the desired quantity is the given quantity of ammonia which is 5 you just have to multiply it with the conversion factor that is 1 mole of nitrogen by 2 moles of ammonia and you get the desired quantity of nitrogen which is 2.5 moles very simple now the solution for the b part is given quantity is again 5 moles you have to find the desired quantity of hydrogen the conversion factor so again the amount to be found is written in the numerator 3 moles of hydrogen that is in the balanced chemical equation by 2 moles of ammonia and you just have to simply multiply it with the given quantity of ammonia which is 5 and then multiplying it with it with 
3 by 2, you get 7.5 moles of hydrogens. So it's very easy. Now let's see problem number 3. Iron can be produced by iron ore by reacting the ore with carbon monoxide. Carbon dioxide is produced as a byproduct. What mass of iron can be formed from 425 grams of ore? Now focus on the question grams, that is the mass is given in grams of ore. You just have to first convert it into moles. Now let's see the solution. First of all, you should see the balanced chemical equation, which is Fe2O3, which is the iron ore ferric oxide, plus three moles of carbon monoxide, producing two moles of iron plus three moles of carbon dioxide. So this is a balanced chemical equation. Now the mass of ore is 425 grams, which is given mass. You have to see what is the molar mass of ore that is Fe2O3. Fe, that is iron, is 56 grams. You just have to multiply it with two that is two atoms you can see in the formula and the, mo the molar mass of oxygen is 16 you just have to multiply it with three because you can see in the formula there are three atoms of oxygen and when you add the quantities you get 160 grams per mole so molar mass of ore is 160 grams and the given mass of ore is 425 grams now in the previous video you know that number of moles is the given mass over molecular mass very simple you just divide it 425 by 160 and you get 2.6 moles of iron ore. So you got the number of moles. By the grams, you got the number of moles. Now, you have to find the number of moles of iron produced, the desired quantity. The desired quantity is the number of moles of iron ore into 2 moles of iron, which has to be found. That is the quantity which has to be found is, is of iron. So from the balanced chemical equation, 2 moles of iron and divided by 1 mole of iron ore. That is, one mole of iron ore is producing two moles of iron. So when you multiply 2.65 into 2 by 1, you get 5.3 moles of iron. Now these are the moles. For converting it into mass, mass of one mole of iron is 56. That is, Fe is 56. So you find the moles of iron 5.3. 5.3, you just have to multiply it for, for with one mole of iron. You get 296.8 grams. That is, this is the number which is the mass of the iron produced. And when you round it off, it gets 297 grams. So, for finding the number of uh, the number of grams, which is the mass of iron, you just have to multiply it with the molar mass, the number of moles with the molar mass, and you get the mass in grams. Now, let's see problem number four. The main engines of space shuttle is powered by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. If this much quantity, that is 1.02 into 10 to the power 5 kgs of liquid hydrogen is carried on a launch, what mass of liquid oxygen is necessary for all the hydrogen to burn? So for this, you have to find the chemical equation. In this reaction, two moles of hydrogen are being reacted with one mole of oxygen to produce two moles of water. Now, Mass of liquid hydrogen given is 1.02 into 10 to the power 5 kgs. For converting kgs into grams, you simply have to multiply it with 1000, that is 10 to the power 3, and then it becomes 1.02 into 10 to the power 8, that is 5 plus 3, 8. Now, the number of moles, again, very easy, given mass over atomic mass, number of moles becomes 1.02 into 10 over 2, that is the mass, that is the mass of hydrogen, that is 2, or 2.06. 0.16 precisely. So when you divide it, you get 0 0.50 into 10 to the power 8 grams, which is the number of moles of hydrogen. For the sake of scientific notation, the decimal is transported towards the right side and a number is decreased. That is, 10 to the power 8 becomes 10 to the power 7. So number of moles of hydrogen becomes 5.0 into 10 to the power 7 moles. You got the number of moles. Now, two moles of hydrogen will completely burn with one mole of oxygen. Simple, very simple unitary method. Two moles of hydrogen, they burn with one mole of oxygen. So, for one mole of hydrogen, it becomes one by two mole of oxygen. So, for 5.0 into 10 per 7 moles of hydrogen, you just simply have to multiply it. 5.06 into 10 per 7 into one by two, that is divided by two, and you get 2.5 into 10 per 7 moles of oxygen. So in this way, you got the moles of oxygen. Now, 
these were the moles for converting the moles into mass you simply have to multiply the number of moles into molar mass and the molar mass of oxygen is 32 when you multiply it with the number of moles you get 80.96 into 10 to the power 7 for the sake of scientific notation the decimal is transported towards the left side and the number is increased so 10 to the power 7 becomes 10 to the power 8 grams and for converting grams into kgs you have to divide it by 1000 so it becomes 8.09 into 10 to the power 5 that is minus 3 this is the answer that is the mass of the liquid oxygen is 8.09 into 10 to the power 5 kgs now let's see problem number 5 the last problem Calculate the number of molecules of oxygen produced by thermal decomposition of 490 grams of potassium chlorate. So again, in the question, it is given in the grams, you have to convert it into moles. Now, the given mass of potassium chloride, chlorate is 490 grams. The formula mass of potassium chlorate is 122.5 grams per mole very simple potassium is 39 chlorine is 35.5 and oxygen is 16 multiplied by 348 when you add these quantities you get 122.5 grams per mole so for number of moles given mass over atomic mass is 4 moles so the given mass of potassium chlorate is 490 grams for converting it into moles you just divided it with the formula mass that is the given mass over formula mass and it becomes four moles now the reaction is two moles of potassium chloride you can see it is converted into two moles of potassium chloride and three moles of oxygen now simple unitary method two moles of potassium chloride are producing three moles of oxygen one mole of potassium chloride will, will be producing three by two moles of oxygen and four moles of potassium chloride you just have to multiply it by three by two into four and become six moles of oxygen and you have to find the number of molecules of oxygen one mole of oxygen has this much molecules you know that this is Avogadro's number 6.02 into 10 to the 23 for six moles you simply have to multiply six by the Avogadro's number you get 36.12 into 10 to the 23 molecules of oxygen for the sake of scientific notation the decimal is transported towards the left side and the number is increased so the answer is 3.61 into 10 to the power 20, 24 molecules of oxygen i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching wish you all the best